All right, so now let's talk about uh, the different theories out there. You know, we have the uh, the funeral uh, for George Floyd. Uh, as as I heard uh, one pastor say this past week, I totally agree. He said, "I tell you what, we all need to be concerned about is we just saw one human being do that to another human being, and we need to ask ourselves: Have we become this deprived uh, that any human being would do that to another human being? Period." No matter ethnicity or agendas or you know uh, whatever the motivation was, that we would we would now be a society that something like that happens just right there with cameras rolling and with a look of really evil and no concern, uh, just totally glossed over. But then people are starting to say, as investigations will continue, why? What was the deal here? What was going on? There was just something odd about this. Now there is scenario one, and this certainly could be it. We've got a terrible, terrible cop who is not just terrible and dangerous to society. He's dangerous mostly to African-Americans because he's a racist bigot and he couldn't wait to do harm to an African-American man. Okay? There's one. That's, that, 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 is a, that's, that is a possibility. That's, that's a possibility. We, we will see when we get to the bottom of it. Uh, uh, number two, I'm a, I'm a rogue cop and I'm dangerous to everybody and y'all just happened to catch me with this one particular person. But I've got a history of, of, of having a temper. I've got a history of not controlling my anger. I'm dangerous to a lot of people. And George Floyd, regardless of ethnicity, was in the wrong place at the wrong time and got the wrong cop, and I killed him, and I would have killed anybody that I came up on that day. That's scenario two. Yep. And neither one of those are good, Possibly. by the way. No, no, not good. Then there's the scenario three. Uh, George Floyd and Derek Chauvin knew each other. And there was another relationship going on or something happened and Derek Chauvin saw his opportunity to kill George Floyd, and he did. Uh, that one is, uh, is, is, doesn't have a lot of momentum, and it may turn out that there'll be nothing to it. But once again, kind of like COVID-19, we're starting the they knew each other. No, they didn't. Now back today, yeah, yeah I think they may have. Well, let's, let's talk about what we know yeah. is out there, okay. and then we, can, then we can play with right. that and see where we go with it. Right. George Floyd and Derek Chauvin reportedly bumped heads while working security together at a nightclub years before their fatal encounter. Now, you may remember right after this happened, we had a lady come out, and I can't remember her name, but she owned a nightclub there in Minneapolis. Correct. And she, she was shocked because she recognized both men and knew both of them had worked for her. Right. So now we have a story, a guy named David Penny, P, uh, P-I-N-N-E-Y, uh, he's a one-time co-worker at that restaurant on Lake Street in South Minneapolis. He revealed the duo's uh, purported shaky history in an interview with CBS News. He said uh, the tension has a lot to do with Derek being extremely aggressive within the club with some of the patrons, which was an issue. The owner of the club, Maya, and I can't, I don't know about that last name, had previously told an outlet that Floyd yeah. and Chauvin overlapped shifts at a popular music uh, club uh, within the last year. So that was the one we were looking right. for. Like, like Maya Santa Maria? Santa Maria. We'll yeah. go with that. Okay. Um, she said that Chauvin stood guard outside, acting as the Night Spot's official off duty police officer for 17 years. That'd be 17. God. While hey. Floyd. Not seven, not, not a few, 17. 17. While yeah. Floyd worked inside. She also said she was not sure if Floyd and Chauvin knew each other, but Penny was confident that they did. So uh, he even used the term they knew each other fairly well. Yeah, uh, pretty well. So yeah. one, we don't know this Penny guy. We don't know how reliable he is. I'm That's sure right. That's there's right. other sources that can collaborate or corroborate, uh, corroborate yeah. or deny that relationship. Right. So, um, but it but it does bring forward some strange things. Th- there's a couple of things about the whole thing that bothered me, and and it may just be me and my not knowing a procedure. We all admitted it looked very strange the way he was doing this. Yes, it did. did. Uh, He wasn't looking down at him. He wasn't making sure. He he, he almost just, you remember, and he didn't even care he was being videoed. No, he didn't seem to care he was being videoed, and he didn't seem to care that people were telling him, even some of the policemen, you need to put him on his side. Hey, you're killing him. Please stop. He didn't seem to care about any of that. It's almost like he wasn't even in the moment. Right. It's like he right. was in another place, it, yeah, and which made it very wicked and, and evil. Which, by the way, that's what it is. No matter what it turns out, what you saw there is evil, and you know, of course, 
I would say I can get too more into that. But and, and, and again, I'm just speculating. I, I think that that somebody working security at one of those clubs that long sounds a little strange to me because most clubs don't last that long to begin with. Yeah. Well, I want you to listen to this phrase because they say even this this narrative may be part of it being upgraded from third to second degree degree before the charges were upgraded from third to second degree. CBS News reported that they were told we believe. Chauvin knew who George Floyd was. Mm-hmm. So, I, I don't know. It, it 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 does ask the question: Did they have a run in? Was there some type of grind between the two? Um, was and you have to ask this too: Was there some illegal activity going on at that club that one or both of them knew about? I mean, you always have that possibility. There's a lot of strange things going on at these type clubs i mean whether you want to admit that or not mm-hmm. um so you you don't know did they have a run-in about a relationship did they just not like each other uh was there other people involved uh could there be drugs involved somehow we don't know it's being investigated well we know Chauvin. if you look at his history he, he, he everybody he, says he had a temper he had a temper and you know he had complaints against him he didn't appear to be an upstanding dude period uh which we that's one of the things we do need to address is how people who are an issue in police departments uh, are protected maybe longer than they should be. I don't know where we find that balance, but certainly. But it's back that there may have been a relationship between the two, but no one knows to what level. We'll be right back.